35 years. A lot of you all don't even have a clue, mm. don't have a clue as to how law enforcement is working during these crises in our south and west side endangered communities. I work in law enforcement and I'm telling you, they are not working in our best interest and they're not solving these problems because we are not organizing. And I would say, if any of you all listen to 1570 AM radio, two o'clock until four, Tuesdays through Friday, pick it up. Because we're getting ready to move with or without you. Mm. And that's the same thing, Commissioner, you should be about ready to do, because I'm following you around to a lot of these meetings, and I'm listening to the same stuff, and all these folks say they got organizations then why don't we get the heads of those organizations to come into a room and start dealing with the realities of where we are? You're going to sleep while the Chicago politicians come up with a so-called commission to oversee the police department. You already know that's going to be a joke if it does not include the community. But you're going to sleep. You're not going to, that's one of the priorities we should be dealing with. My son was killed by the Chicago police in December. December 13th be the fourth anniversary. And every one of those cops that had something to do with his death it's still are on still the working come on, in come your on. community. Come on. When you put these committees, committees together, if I want to deal with law enforcement and public safety for the help of my community, I want y'all to listen to me. The young man's got through talking about juvenile. We got shooters that's on parole and still wearing a bracelet and still go out and shoot and come back wearing our bracelet. Woo. County probation, Cook County Sheriff should be working with the state parole and they're not. We can go in their houses and they can't. They only come to get us when they want to play games. But I'm telling you, Commissioner, we need to get those committees you're talking about, put folks, let them get in where they fit in, and let's move forward. Yes, because how you can have an emergency meeting, and I get a report across my desk every day, 80 people got shot this weekend, 10 of them are dead, all of them are black mm -hmm. or Hispanic. The first time you pick up that paper and it says 80 people shot, 10 of them dead, they're all from the Gold Coast. You won't have to worry about your safety no more. Oh, yeah. It'll be tanks in the street. As long as we're killing each other, it's legal. But as tough as these gangs are, as tough as the police are, they understand the law. It's illegal to kill white people. 